How do you like your food? Well, the food is really good. Look at this potato. It's like really, really good over my head. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my omelet right here. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good food. It's a good morning. Good. I gotta wake up with my beautiful wife for live commitment. I just want to say that I really enjoyed the breakfast this morning at where's this place called? La Baza. La Baza. <laughs> Great breakfast. It was delicious. The food was delicious. All right. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tammy. Thanks for clicking to watch this video. Please do stick around. And today's vlog is about me and my husband uh, celebrating our fourth year wedding anniversary. We are heading to a boat cruise today and we figured we'd take you guys along. This is the Wendella boat cruise in Chicago. And I also kind of was able to pick a couple of scenery and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vlog. Please do not forget to like as well as subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi. Hello. 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 So if you want to go downstairs and visit a full service bar, air conditioning, or the restrooms, we have to try to use the rear staircase there or the left side of the wheelhouse. The Hilton Hotel bought the building that is now a boutique hotel. Now, my wife's favorite style of architecture is right there on the left. Take a look. There's an Art Deco building on the corner. The building dates back to 1928, and the architect is Alfred Auschwitz. Cup your hands to the sun and look at the third tallest building in the United States of America. That is the Trump International Hotel and Tower. The building was designed by Adrian Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most beautiful city in the world, architecturally. People like to argue with me. They say Beijing, Dubai, Shanghai. I come up with all kinds of cities. And Jade, in those cities, not one building is older than 37 years. The building, by the way, is the second largest concrete office structure in the United States. Does anybody know the largest? Excellent work. The Pentagon is correct. Here's your next question. How large is the Pentagon? You are doing so well, sir. 6.2 million square feet is your Pentagon. This is 4.2 million. Are you ready for a factoid? The building finished during the Great Depression, sat empty until 1945. Guess who bought it? The Kennedys. What did they pay? 13 million. What did they sell it for? 575 million dollars. Look at the River Point. 60% of that building is recyclable. And that new sculpture is done by, uh, oh, Santiago Calavera. It's not done yet. Oh, this is kind of weird. The building on the left is so skinny, all the residents live on this side. Mm -hmm. Townhouses, parking, and condos. The building is so skinny, if you drive a car and live in that building, guess what? You cannot park it yourself. If you drive your car into an elevator, the elevator valleys it for you. Guess what one parking spot costs in that building? $50,000. Holy shit. I know. Look up on the left. Now look, look at me and look up on the right. Those folks used to have a view down river. Now they're looking into somebody's bedroom. Okay? They lost their view. So be mindful when you buy a condominium in the city. We're taking you guys to the south branch in the Chicago River next. Let me show you how to take a drink with a mask on.
Chicago is growing. This apartment building, that apartment building are brand new. They're built in front of other apartment buildings. The architect company is Perkins and Will, and this is called the South Bank. Why do people like to live in a building with a hotel? Exactly. She just said you get all the amenities. There's Navy Pier. Watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.